So when we developed the design, we had some of the co-creators go over to the design agency and together with them created the entire bottle. I think you see us as an extended support yeah. system because I think the important thing is you own this and this is what you would love to have on shelf. Where I really like things that look natural but have like that one sleep element. So not too much happening at once. Patterns, but still clean. These are different bottles that I saw and I like how different they were. And also, like Iran said, liquor bottles should be easy to hold. Yeah, and then I think later this afternoon, we take some of these big ideas and we go down and we start sketching what that might look like as a bottle. So I think when we present to the bigger team on Wednesday, I would love for you guys to present ideas, not coming from us, coming from you. So I feel like it's, you can say whatever you want and we will try to, to manage that. Uh, it's going to be a lot of hard work, uh, but I think, you know, it's going to be fun. It's a quality, I think, for me. Yeah. Like, if I'm going to spend a lot of money on something, it's because it was, like, the story behind it, Yeah. you know? Looking at the, the industry that we're working in at the moment and the types of products that are clearly targeted towards women in, in particular, you know, going down that very overtly girly route again comes across as being almost quite patronizing, I think. So hopefully this would be held up as a bit of a case study for you know, a very positive way of collaborating with consumers to develop a new product. Today I did something I love to do. I created mood boards. I thought about colors, I thought about fabrics, I thought about people and places and had a theme and I put together a whole bunch of visuals to show what that theme was. You can see all of your friends in these bottles, but they all come together as telling a story. This is who we are and this is what we stand for. I, I think it's really fantastic. And I think, you know, going into this, I was like trying to keep a straight face. It's gonna work. It's all gonna <laughs> go well. But I, I, I'm not sure I was really expecting it. So it's really exciting to be here now. I look forward to seeing what yeah. you get now. And then Michelle is reviewing it more from a feasibility standpoint. And usually the answer is like, no, we yeah. can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> go back to the drawing board. <laughs> So today we'll look at packaging. You'll be presenting your designs, and uh, it's really exciting. <laughs> it's and not then, scary at all. <laughs> <laughs> so the, these are the 750s, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's good because it's like they always complain about some of our bottles that they are too big for women's hands. Mm -hmm. My hands are actually really short, but I never had problem. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> With the, you know. I think it gives you permission to be more feminine in the graphics too. Yeah, exactly. yeah, we like the contrast. Like, yeah. I think I'll hand over to you now, Daniel. So what you're going to see today is uh, mood boards, starting with scrap imagery, down to mood board, down to an actual label design. And again, uh, this is a feedback session. We would love to hear your thought. We would love to keep this as a conversation. This is a girl who's like very mysterious. So after 2010, metal started becoming the neutral color that people started wearing with everything or just pairing with anything. And that's why we decided to choose gold because it's timeless for now. It's very feminine and powerful at the same time. You guys really found that balance between the two, which is hard to, to find. The thing that caught our eye with this design was the cap again. I find it a very masculine image. I find it quite appealing, actually. It looks a bit like a motorcycle helmet. It, it's quite powerful and strident. I think when we found that drop or that kind of more organic look, it actually came it together. So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like me. Well, pretty badass. I'm a badass, but I like pretty things. So we have like the whole like leather feel. Instead of just making a regular hand tie, you can make a little dainty bracelet that you can keep as your own. There's something really, really powerful about a memento yeah. that, that yeah. is an equity of this brand. All of our mood boards illustrate of what inspired us and then of who inspired us. So she's the girl that shows up at the party by herself. She's not timid. She marches to the beat of her own drum. Like the whole like logo here, we decide to be handwritten. It's the freedom of expression when you write your own thing. 
self-made doesn't have to be solo, but you still have to have your own identity. And I think that notion of self-made doesn't have to be solo really comes through in this concept. I feel like it's saying a lot, yeah. like even just with the design about the organic process and how this all comes yeah. together. The way you guys talk about these ideas with so much passion, I feel like we're on a really, really good track. Really impressive, in a new yeah. way. I mean, all of these ideas are really brilliant. I just have to say, I'm so impressed. You've done such good work. I haven't seen it before. No, for sure. me neither. It's really refreshing. Yeah, it is. Running this family business, and he's very passionate about it. Vodka is the one product that's defined by how it's made, not what it's made from. Cheers! Oh my god.